Well, this is another Chinese movie and it's rare that a movie leaves me this dumbfounded. I mean, I didn't really get it at all. And I'm not even really sure what it was going for, especially with that first part. It just felt like a giant waste of time to me and I got nothing out of it. You get these slow and brooding shots with very little action. And I don't mean like explosions and car chases. I just mean things happening on screen, people doing things. Instead, it's just a lot of silence and a lot of talking which probably wouldn't be a problem if the dialogue was actually interesting. But for the most part, it's not. It's vague and doesn't really seem to go anywhere. There's also a fair amount of narration that's just as vague. And a lot of it feels kind of irrelevant. But you do get the gist of the story at some point. It's about a man who goes looking for a woman. It's actually a bit of a modern take on the detective noir, I feel like with that slow and deliberate style taken to an extreme. Oh, and I want to mention there's also this one scene that lasts for several minutes with a guy singing karaoke. Just a guy singing bad karaoke and it goes on for minutes. So yeah, I got pretty much nothing out of that first part, which lasts about 70 minutes. But then suddenly the title of the movie comes on screen. Yeah, halfway through the movie. And apparently it turns into 3D at this point too. But I watched it at home in 2D so I didn't know that. But apparently that's a thing. And the whole mood and the style of the movie changes too. And it turns almost dreamlike and a little bit more surreal and bizarre. And from that point on I actually kinda liked it. It was just way more compelling. I guess it's also worth mentioning that that last part is entirely one shot. About 50 minutes in one shot. And it doesn't take place in a very contained area either. It's actually pretty elaborate and must have been a massive pain to put together. And of course that reminded me a lot of Alfonso Cuaron. And especially Roma with the slow and brooding style. Now interestingly enough I had the same exact issue with this as I had with Roma. Because I kinda liked the last part of Roma. But the beginning just wasn't that interesting to me. Well in this it's the exact same thing. Except the beginning was even less interesting. But then we get to the last part and it's actually a lot more compelling. But whereas Roma definitely had a narrative going on. One that was pretty easy to follow. This feels almost void of a narrative. I mean it's about a guy looking for a woman. And that's it. Why he's looking for her and how they're connected is kept pretty vague. But that's really all that goes on in this. That's all the story you get. I almost want to call it style over substance, because this has a pretty strong emphasis on style. But it's not like it lacks substance completely, it's just that it's sort of vague about it. It leaves a lot up for interpretation and you kinda have to find your own meaning in it. And yeah, as I said, I actually enjoyed that last part way more than I expected. And the first part that I got nothing out of just made the second part feel that much better. But I also think it's a shame that the entire movie wasn't as good as the end, because then I would have probably enjoyed the whole thing, beginning to end. But now it's front loaded with boring and ends on high note, which is better than the other way around I guess, but it's still a shame. So would I recommend this? It's kinda difficult, but if you like artsy movies, maybe. Or if you just appreciate movies from a technical perspective, that last part is worth checking out. So maybe give it a look, maybe don't. I'm not your dad. But I am trying to sell out, so consider liking, subbing, hitting that bell and supporting me on Patreon. Because I really need to get myself a ping pong table or two. And hey, why not drop a comment below or check out another review? I'd appreciate it. Thanks.